quit my job for a sabbatical year. I decided to have a um, self-sustained bicycle trip, push bike. And then I left from Florianópolis, it's South Brazil, and went all the way to Córdoba. Córdoba is a province in, in Argentina. And I was living in tent, doing my own laundry. So that was kind of school for the lifestyle I have right now. I had no starting date. So what, I moved to my parents' home, back to my parents' home. And I prepared the bicycle, it was in the living room. And then I said, tomorrow I'm gonna leave. And this, this tomorrow I'm gonna leave, took me like three months with anxiety. It was always waking up, no, not today, not today. Finally, there was a day that my mom, she said, what do you want to eat today? And I said, I'm not gonna have lunch over here. And she said, why? Because I'm leaving today. I need to go, I need to leave right now because it was three months like postponing, procrastinating. I was always afraid. There was a bunch of feelings inside me. So that was the way I, I, I faced this. This, this anxiety. I learned so many things throughout this one year, how to deal myself, how to be alone. It was not a, a, a lonely a tra travel, but to be with myself, you know. When I arrive home, when I catch up with my friends and my family once again, the pride feeling, the superhero feeling, that was very good. So I think this helps a lot to, to travel to, to help them to anxiety. As well to the people, to, 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 to interact with people who travel with me. I, I, feel, I feel very good when I see someone travel, traveling with me, going beyond, trying, you know, being happy out of the comfort zone. So I think this helps me a lot uh, uh, when I bring this concept to the entrapment, to the job.